Here is an example of long division with remainders. Now it works the same way as my other ones. I'm going to start with a straight line here to give my area for my multiplication. It's up to you if you put this little x here. I just like to put it as a reminder that for now, I'm, all I'm doing here is multiplication. Okay, so I want to, again, pick numbers that are easy to work with that I can multiply. So I'm looking for five times something is gonna give me close to 6,399. Well, I'll just look at these numbers first. So I have to think of, okay, five times something that's close to let's say 60, so 5 times 12 maybe. Okay, so 5 times 12 is 60. Oh, but I know I can't stop at 60 here. I have to make this number a little bit bigger. So maybe 5 times 120. Let's try it. 5 times 12 is 60. Add a 0 at the end. No, no, I need to get a little bit bigger because I only have 600 now. So maybe I should add another zero to this one. Five times 12 is 60, plus two zeros, one, two. There we go, now I got to 6,000. I do my subtraction. Nine minus zero is nine, nine minus zero, nine, and three minus zero, three. Six minus six is zero, I'm not gonna put anything there. So now I have 399 to work with. Okay, now I'm going to pick another number to multiply that is going to get me as close as possible to 399. Well, I know that 5 times 6 is 30. Hmm, I'm at 39. I'm going to see if I can go a little bit bigger than that. Uh, 5 times 7 is 35. Okay, that's even closer. 5 times 8 is 40. That's close, but it actually went over, so I can't use it if it goes past the number I'm looking for. So I'm going to try 5 times 7. 5 times 7 is 35. Oh, but this is a three-digit number, so I need to do something. It can't just be 5 times 7. I need to add a 0 there. 5 times 7 is 35. Add a 0. 350. I'm going to do my subtraction. 9 minus 0 is 9, 9 minus 5 is 4, and 3 minus 3 is 0. Okay, so now I have 49. So I have to figure out something. 5 times something is close to 49. Well, like I said before, I know that 5 times 8 is 40. Hmm, I can try something bigger than that, I think. 5 times 9, maybe? Yeah, I think that will work, so... 5 times 9 is 45. And remember, if you ended up picking 8 because you forgot that 5 times 9 is 45, that's not a problem. You just have an extra step at the end anyways. So 5 times 9 is 45. I do my subtraction. 49 minus 45 is 4. Okay, so now in this case I look at, well, I can't do 4, I can't do 5 times something is 4. So that's going to be my remainder, what I have left over. I'll show you what to do with that in just a second. So now I'm going to add in this area now. In that case, I can erase my little multiplication sign. And, oh, my numbers are not really nice in order here, so I'm going to make sure they're lined up nicely so I don't get mixed up in my addition. Okay, so I have 9... 7, 2, and 1. So I know part of my answer is 1,279. Okay, then I have a remainder. For our purposes, what we're going to do, and I want to write the answer clearly over here. So our answer is going to be 1,279. And the remainder we're going to show as a fraction. Okay, so we're going to take our number that we have as the remainder, which in this case is 4 and we're going to put it as a fraction. So 4 out of, we had a possible 5. Okay, so what is left is 1,279 and 4 fifths. And to show you this, I'll take my calculator over here. Okay, what does this look like if we do it with the calculator? 
my original problem was, I hope the glare isn't too bad here, there we go, is 6,399 divided by 5. So if you look here, we have our 1,279. That's what we had here. And then we have decimal 8. And then we have 4 fifths over here. So where does that decimal 8 come from? Well, if you do 4 divided by 5 on the calculator, look what you get. Decimal 8. So technically, or in that case, 8 tenths. So technically, this part, the fraction, will mean your decimal, or what's left over. Okay. So you can say this answer is 1,279 and 4 fifths, or 1,279 and 8 tenths. And that's how you do division with remainders.